Hi all, let's talk about how to zip or unzip the files or folders in SSIS. So this can be done with the help of the execute process task in SSIS. So this execute process task is the one which will help us to zip, unzip or it will help us to run the customized applications developed by using cshop.net or vb.net or you can run the standard applications like a, so Windows Word, Windows Excel, PowerPoint and command batch files as well. So now let me show you how to zip and unzip the folders by using SSIS. Let me go to the SQL Server data tools. So there let me drag and drop the execute process task. So execute process task takes only executable files. So where to specify the executable files. So this is a place where you need to specify the executable file path including path. So I am I am trying to tell you here how to so zip the file. So to zip the file I can use a winzip or winrar. So this is a file path. So you can easily identify ideally it will be there in the program files in the program files in the winrar folder. So that is the path I specified here and what are all the arguments I need to specify. So to zip the file, I need to specify the argument as a space and the so where I need to zip the where 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 I need to oh, put the zipped file. So I need to have a zipped file path. So let me go there. So here let me go to SSIS. So there uh, this is the path I'm going to put. So this is the path I need to place the files. Let me remove this. Okay, so let me go there. So this is the place and I need to specify the zip file path as well. So I am going to name it as a files one something like that. Now where is the source? So my source is in the same drive with the name of source. Let me take this. This is the source. I am planning to zip this entire source folder. So I am planning to put this zip file in this folder with the name of files one. Okay. So once you are done with this configuration, these three executable file name, arguments and working directory. So you are done. Let me click on OK. Let me run this. Yeah, if you see there is a blink happened. So during that time, so it is zipping the file. Let me go to the folder. Yeah, where is the zip? Yeah, this is a zip. If you go there, so these are all the files I have. Okay. So let me unzip now. So if I run again, so what will happen? So this execution overrides the these output files. It is going to override it. So let me unzip it now. So how to unzip it? In the similar way, in the process here, apart from A, you need to specify E. E is the one which will help us to extract. E for extract, A for archive. Okay. And these parameters or arguments are opposite now. So this is a file of the source. This is a file of this is the name of the <coughs> uh, zip file and it is going to place you in the this folder. So let me show you that package as well. So this is a separate package I designed. So it will help us to unzip it. If you see this. So here I have a so this is my file name is files one files one or files one. Let me go there and get it files one files one. So here E for extract and this is the now source if this path is for source this is for destination. Let me click on. Okay. Let me see what is there in the unzip. So unzip is empty now. Let me run this. Yeah, you can see a blink happen in between the run. So that time during that time. So unzip happened. Let me stop this and let me go there. Yeah, if you see. So these are all the files which are happened during the unzip. So this is how we need to perform zip and unzip by using execute process task. Thank you for watching.